Alrighty, so it is December 2nd and um, it was it was funny because today, I feel like today was so busy, I didn't get a chance to like process that I'm having a boy. Like, it was just like, I had a moment at work and I'm like, I'm having a boy. Like, that's crazy. Um, and I'm just so grateful that I get one of each, that's amazing. Um, would have been happy either way. Would have been happy with two boys, whatever. You know, like, I think this is one of those things that is totally out of your control. I mean, yes, if you want to talk scientifically, the guy gives you what you, like, basically it's the guy that gives you that, what is it, like the XY or the XX, like if it's a girl, it's like XY or something. Basically, you have the X and then he gives you the X or the Y. If that makes sense, right? So, one second, I'm gonna give Elizabeth some popsicles. Um, so anywho, I'm just looking up letterboard ideas for work, but I'm so excited. I can't wait to share the news with you guys and everybody and it be out. Um, I'm waiting for my anatomy scan to come back. Uh, I hope it comes back good. I'm just looking up letterboard ideas. Today was so crazy because um, I went to, on my lunch break, to mail um, like my results to my friends and family that live far away. Even my friends that live close, um, I still mailed it because I don't know when I'm gonna see them and when I'm going to be able to get over there, um, even if they are just like a half an hour away. So basically I told my family and I told, whoops, I told, so basically my, at this point my parents know, um, uh, who else knows? My parents know and my sister knows, my other sister knows and my brother knows, so all the locals. And they know not to say anything. My um, my Amazon order has been shipped. I have to look at that. Um, what was it say? Um, yeah. So basically, they all know, and my friends don't know. My one sister doesn't know. Wait, two of my no, three of my sis, four of my sisters, one. Two, three, four of my sisters don't know. If you don't know, I come from a very large family. And um, one of my brothers doesn't know yet. So um, I would think by Friday they would they would know. They would, they would, whatever. But basically I'm just looking up cute letter board ideas. Oh, and some of my coworkers know. Because we did like a little gender reveal yesterday. Because I'm like, how can I keep it from my... Coworkers, like it's it's gonna slip and they knew I was going like it's kind of hard to hide appointments from your coworkers. like they know right um, Especially like with what I do So I'm just looking up cute letter board ideas um, I'm just looking for Pinterest, but basically that's what I'm doing tonight I have feel like I've already started nesting mode, but I am I can't find Pinterest. Where's Pinterest? Oh, there it is. Um, I'm already in like nesting mode, even though I don't think I'm gonna start doing more until December. I'm really hoping all of my anatomy stuff goes well, um, especially right before Christmas, that'd be so sad. Especially because we, it's, it's so hard when things are out of your control because you know, you we started the new year, we got pregnant in February, found out in March, and miscarried in April. I got pregnant in July, found out in August, and it would just suck if it was bad news. Um, like, if they told me bad news, <laughs> and to end it on a, ugh, like a negative note. Um, I feel like when you pass your 12 weeks, you're like, okay, you're out of the first clear, and then once your anatomy scan comes back good, you're like, okay, now I feel like I can relax a little more. I mean, obviously, until you're, you see your baby, you kind of, you know, there's still a chance of something. And it's so hard. I've been trying to stay positive um, through this pregnancy. But it's definitely different this time around after having a miscarriage and 
you know, your friend losing, like I had someone really close to me lose her baby at 20 weeks and I'll be 21 weeks tomorrow. But her, like she, there was issues, but like she never even made it to her anatomy scan. Like there was issues before that with her pregnancy. Um, and then somebody else I know, I believe it's called Potter syndrome and she found that out. Um, let me look it up. She found that out at her 20 week anatomy scan. And it has to do with, I believe, the baby's kidneys, um, but also like your in amniotic um, fluid. Like you basically are writing out of amniotic fluid. So it is, let me just see. And um, I don't know if she got any of the testing before the anatomy scan, like the 12 week one. But it says, it's described as a typical physical appearance caused by pressure in utero due to, has a big word, O-L-I-G-O-H-Y-D-R-A-M-N-I-O-S. Classically due to bilateral renal agencies, but it can occur with other conditions. Um, oh yeah, it talks about kidney disease. Um, Triggered by different causes leading to the same endpoint of reduced or absent amniotic fluid. Yeah. So that's basically what, like, she had low, um, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm just, like, I'm just hoping for the best. But baby is super active. And it feels so weird that I, like, I'm so used to calling it it that it feels weird to call it a he now, you know? Um, but it's just so crazy. But yeah, I have a lot of fun videos planned for you guys. Um, I went through my closet yesterday and I didn't have my camera on me. I'd put Elizabeth to bed and I was kind of waiting for her to fall asleep and I was putting laundry away. But I cleaned out my closet. I put away clothes that I'm not using, that I won't be using basically for a while. Um, so I have my pregnancy clothes up and basically my fourth trimester, my postpartum clothes I have ready to go and like nursing stuff and all that fun jazz. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I've been up to. Now I'm gonna look up letter board ideas and try and get some cute pictures. Um, I'm super excited if you watch my, um, actually, yeah, if you've watched my haul, um, then you would know that um, I got the cutest onesie ties at the end with a hat. I will be keeping that. Um, I'm not getting rid of that ever. That is going to be something special for him. Just like when we found out what we were having, we got Elizabeth or something. And that is something I won't um, get rid of. Like that's something for that she will be able to have forever. If she has kids or not. The only thing I can find for like a letter board, it's like, oh boy. And I'm like, no, oh, that's too like. But everything else is just like, I can't. So I might just have to use them. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to update you guys. And um, that's kind of what I've been doing for a baby. Um, I've vacuumed and mopped the nursery. And basically all this, I put all the clothes away that I have for baby boy. And I've made a drawer of all the things that I have for baby boy. And I've also made... Um, a pile of things I want to for sure donate and or sell or something the other stuff I'm not 100% sure yet um what else have I done vacuumed I vacuumed the change pad table obviously it still has Elizabeth's old stuff but once everybody knows I will start packing up stuff and trying to sell it and probably use it towards baby boys nursery fund or something like that so Alrighty, I'm gonna go now. This might be just like a one take vlog. Um, or I will see you guys in my next video, but that's just kind of what I'm up to. I'll try to show you, like, if I remember, I'll show you, like, the final results of, like, what um, my birth announcement is going to, or boy, gender announcement is going to be for um, work. But I must say, it feels so good to talk to you guys because, like, I feel like I can't talk to too many people um, because it's, like, a secret right now. So. Alrighty, talk to you guys later. Yes, so it is December 3rd, and it sounds like all of my locals got their gender reveals. 
So I FaceTimed my sister, recorded her reaction, and then at 6.30, I'm calling my brother. I think he might have already, when you guys on here, already opened it. Um, but we'll see. I'm going to talk to him at 6.30. I told him he could, um, but I said I would call him at um, 6.30. So yeah, that is exciting that more people know. Um, I think by tomorrow, I'm hoping that everybody will have theirs. Um, so that's super exciting. And then somebody I know through Elizabeth's school is all done having um, children and she has two boys and basically sold me her stuff for, um, a dollar a piece so that is amazing um so i'm just trying to sort everything right now mainly just trying to find my newborn stuff but it is so cute some of it did get wet from the snow which is unfortunate i mean it's not a big deal but who wants to like look at wet clothes right so um yeah i think i have stuff up to like possibly like size two and three um and then i need to text my brother what my nephew wants for his birthday um, and I think he's also going to start saving my stuff or his, like my nephew's stuff so that, um, I can have that. So that's nice. But yeah, I have all this newborn stuff that I'm just kind of going through and sorting. I want to, <clears throat> once everybody knows, I'm going to sell, um, a lot of my girl stuff. I just don't want to sell sell it yet until everybody knows I don't want them to somehow find out that I'm selling all my girl stuff if that makes sense so I'm going to wait but there are three boxes there's over a hundred like oh my god look at that there is I don't know what that's in um whatchamacallit um I don't know what was I saying sorry somebody messaged me um what was I gonna say? I don't even remember, but um, yeah, basically I'm just sorting all the newborn stuff. I am going to wash it, but yeah, I'm gonna sell all my girl stuff. Basically, I'm sure there's some stuff I will keep. I've already made a pile of for sure stuff I want to get rid of, but I think now I have enough newborn stuff because I literally, I have like nothing. I have no um, boy stuff, so. Yeah, really happy with everything. There's like no stains on it, so that's awesome. Um, basically, I'm just putting, if it's newborn, I'm putting it in this pile, and if it's not newborn, I'm putting it in another. But yeah, it's so crazy. I'm gonna be a boy mom. So, we have lots of sorting to do over the next month. My goal by the new year is to have, um, everything organized to like sell that's like my goal anyways because i'm off for basically half the month but yeah i just wanted to update you guys so now at this point my one brother knows my sister knows so that's nice i've kind of been checking off my list to make sure that everybody knows before i like announce it on social media um but yeah it's so nice so i'm just basically waiting for my out of towners to um find out like me and my friends we're all going to do it together but it's nice to know that it's arrived at their house and basically just waiting to be opened um i feel like my birth sister it might be a while it could be mid-december before she gets it i hope not it says it's already shipped so i'm feeling confident that it's going to get to her house at a decent time but yeah i just thought i would kind of check in with you guys i want to try and vlog as much as i can with all my little baby boy updates but yeah if you can buy stuff off of like like used off somebody do it i don't see why not like this is saving me so much money so basically for 150 dollars i have probably like 200 pieces of clothing which is insane like you're not going to get that kind of deal anywhere else and i'd rather people not buy me clothes and get us other stuff that we need. <clears throat> like, oh, these are pants. I thought this was hat. Um, like, 
other items or whatever. So I'd rather them put the money towards that or get us like a gift card. So yeah, I'm gonna let you go now. And Elizabeth was just up here, but now she's downstairs playing. Um, it was so cute because she was like trying on some of this stuff on her dolls. So yeah, that is that. Um, if I'm being honest, because I'm sure some of you are wondering how Elizabeth thinks of all this. Um, I think she kind of, like, she knows that baby's coming. She's not really, like, impatient about it. I told her it's, a baby should be coming after Easter. I mean, now that we know it's a boy, I guess I can say he. Um, but if I, if I talk about, like, you know, possibly giving this to her brother, she doesn't like that idea. Same with her crib. So I'm hoping that when I move when we redo the nursery that she's okay with it um but yeah she doesn't love the idea however we i'm not sure when we're even going to do the um nursery i mean it depends when we get everything um but i feel like this is good too because it gives like a break right like it's not like we moved her into a room all of a sudden took everything down and started doing the nursery like we've been doing slow slow changes um so i feel like that is good and should you know give her some time um and not make her feel like we just like kicked her out of her room we never rushed her into her big girl room i just started doing her nighttime routine in there um and then one night she decided she usually she would um ask to go in her crib and she doesn't anymore I think she did once, but it was just because she was trying to, like, prolong going to bed. And I just remind her that she's too big for a crib anymore. Like, she, you know, like, she doesn't have enough room. And she was like, oh, yeah, and she just kind of giggled, and that was that. So, um, these are all, like, not newborn stuff. So, yeah, I am going to let you guys go so this video isn't too long and boring. But that's what's up. So, um, hopefully... You guys will know more. <laughs> like, hopefully, I don't have to keep it a secret too much longer. I think this is going to be more stuff, yeah. But, yeah, that is what's, what's going on. I remember when we had Elizabeth. I feel like we had to buy more newborn stuff. More newborn sleepers. Um, so, hopefully, we'll be, we'll have, like, a good amount. But, yeah. Alrighty, I'm going to let you guys know. Go. I don't know when the next time I will check up with you guys but I do try to say the date at the beginning of each vlog so you guys know but yeah already I will talk to you guys later bye so here is so we have Elizabeth's room our room and baby's room and if you didn't know we only want two kids so we are done after this and also our gallery wall we'll definitely have to add to it and switch out photos i wanted to do eight by tens so that i could put them in a photo album afterwards and i didn't have these like weird sized pictures that i didn't know what to do with them but i think it turned out so cute and then we also have this over here and this will get changed to a photo of a baby boy so yeah just thought i would show you but for now i just have those two and then here is his nursery so we specifically did a gray wall so that we could do um, navy blue accents um, if we ever had a oh boy. Also, sorry, I'm out of breath, but anywho, so this is all, well, not that stuff. This is all stuff that used to be Elizabeth, but we have boy clothes in here. I went through Elizabeth's stuff and saw what I could reuse. Uh, so we're going to get that new bookshelf. <clears throat> um... I'm not sure if it's going to be in the previous video or a previous vlog, but I share with you guys my wish list on Amazon and Babies R Us. So this is going to go. I don't know if we're going to paint this or just try to sell it or put it in Elizabeth's room, but that's staying. Somebody got that for me. Is that cream on my hand? No, paint. Um, somebody got that for us for Elizabeth, but I just didn't really go with the theme of her room. So we're going to have it for baby boy. The lamp's going to stay, and we're not sure if we're going to swap the rocking chairs out so this might go in Elizabeth's room and the other one might come in here and I'll show you why I don't know do you think this one would look 
better. Um, this might, we might put this in like the garage or downstairs or storage so they're a little bit older. I don't know, because I feel like this chair um, definitely fits better in this room. So we shall see. But back to this room. So yeah, this is all closed, don't mind our cat. All clothes that I'm trying to sort. Um, we have, as of right now, this is also an outfit that I'm taking to the hospital. This is gonna be a definitely a special outfit for him that I'm never gonna wanna get rid of. And I had gotten this. These are the only two things I've gotten for a baby so far. So this is when we found out we were pregnant. Um, I bought near the end of my first trimester. And this is for him as well. And then, so we don't really have too much up here. Some socks and stuff. There's still some stuff I need to sort. Then here we have like, I think this is zero to three month stuff. And then down here, I think it's just like same thing, but or three to six or something. I'm not 100% sure. And then all the newborn stuff. No, I think the first one is newborn. And then this is stuff that he could wear to bed or something. I wanna get a couple more sleepers, but that is that. And then our nursery set doesn't come with something like this. It was supposed to be for diapers. We always used it for toys. A lot of these are like McDonald's Happy Meal toys. But, whoops, we always used this when Elizabeth was younger, just to, like occupy her while she was getting her diaper changed. So I wanna get some sort of bin or something. This shelf is staying, but this we're selling, this we're selling. That I think I might put in storage. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I also wanna get a shelf like this for Elizabeth's room, so that might actually stay. That will go in her room, that we're selling, that we're selling, and obviously we're keeping the monitor. And then this I've already gone through, but there's baby stuff. I have vitamin D drops I need to like get rid of. I also think Richard's gonna, we're gonna have Richard touch it up. You can see the previous owner's blue paint color. And then we'll have newborn diapers in one. We do do cloth, but we wait until baby is out of like basically eight pounds. And so we just have like cloth diapers in here. Um, and yeah. Trying to think what else. Oh, these are just extra, like, um, what are these? Change bag sheets, and what else? Oh, extra bags for here and wet bags. This is what we use. Um, it's supposed to be a diaper pail, I believe, but we use it as a laundry bin, especially for cloth diapers. It holds the smell really nice. And then we have in here, we'll probably put like bibs and stuff, lots of stuff, and then garbage can. So this is stuff I was just going through, but I had kind of pushed it under the crit or under the change pad. Um, Matt is staying, and then we'll change this out. I'm not 100 sure what we want to do above here. I'm gonna try and find the exact same frame. It was either at Walmart or Michaels, and then over here we're gonna put his same thing, but this one's like a rectangle one, um, but the same concept where it's like the month and then 12 months in the middle. There's Elizabeth, so that's gonna go in her big girl room. This is going above her bed in the big girl room. This will go in her big girl room. And then the same person who did this for me is gonna do a unicorn. So we'll have that, that in the middle, and then the unicorn on the other side. That's gonna go in there. My mom does a cross stitch for all the grandkids, so she'll make one for baby boy, and then that will go there. I think I still wanna do something here for his name, whatever that may be like his initial, and then that will sell, like we're gonna sell it all together. I don't know, um, I'm thinking I'm going to try and use these three tokens, and then we have some navy blue tokens that will go here, I think. So somebody purchased them for us. So we shall see, um, but yeah.